Yeah. So I thought I would do, since I'm a leopard freak, I would do a leopard cane. So what I did was I rolled out my three colors that I'm going to use, which is black. Now this is a gold. You don't have to have a gold color. This is Sculpey brand. This is Sculpey brand. This is... Uh, this is Primo and I believe this is Fimo. So we're using all three today. I don't have or didn't actually go look if I have a little, uh, a shade that's a little darker than this. This is called beige. It looks like a skin tone, which is probably why I bought it, but it was sitting out, um, when I was doing my, uh, clay. So I thought I'm just going to use that. So what we want to do first is we want to leave this one flat and we want to leave this one flat for now. And we're going to take the gold and we're going to roll it. I've already conditioned it. Um, I've rolled it out with my roller. I'm using just a ceramic towel I got from the um, Home Depot or Lowe's, which I usually use. And like I said, I rolled out in my pasta machine. If you don't have a pasta machine, no big deal. Just use your hands and warm up. I've, <laughs> I've told you I stick it under my boob or my, under my arm or I sit on it or I put it in my pocket. If it's like Fimo or Primo, just to kind of get it more warm. And then I just work with it until I get, um, you know, I get it warm enough to play. And then I just take it on my craft mat or on my clay, my uh, tile, and I just keep rolling it and squeezing it in my hand and rolling it. And it will do, you know, just as good as the pasta machine. Pasta machine is easier, but not everybody has one. You can go to Michael's or um, AC Moore or Hobby Lobby or Joanne, you know, Joanne's and use their coupons and get one for probably... 15 bucks. Um, I think they're originally like $29. So, so I'm just taking the gold and I'm just making it into a tube. I'm going to tell you now before everybody writes me, I'm disabled. I do these, I do these for beginners and for people who are disabled to show that we can do things. Um, don't send me your nasty messages saying that, um, I'm doing it wrong. It came out wrong. You know, all that nasty stuff that y'all like to say. I do it for people who want to watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. I don't care. But it's not for you. It's just to show that we don't have to lay down and die and not do crafts or something that we love to do. So I just made this kind of tube. Maybe I'll just scooch in a minute. Yeah. Now, I have some black through it. I'm not really worried about it. You know, when I do my clay, I, you know, I'm not very too concerned. So next, once we have our, our clay and we want it in a fairly even tube, you know, and I shrink it up a little bit just so we can get our black around it because I don't have my black too wide, but I can always make it wider if I want. Maybe I'll, I might roll this one more time in my pasta machine. I think I might do that. You can use an exacto knife. I just have one of these great kits I bought with a coupon at the uh, Michaels. And these now, if you're starting out, like I always say, buy Sculpey. It's the best. Um, that's what this is. It's so easy to work with, especially if you have problems with your hands. Much easier to work with. Um, the other ones are great. They're more of a uh, better quality, you know, when they're baked and all that, but they're harder to condition and they're a little bit harder um, on your hands, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to continue to roll this so I can get it thick enough. That should be good. One more time. Okay, so I have it thick now, thick enough, and you want to lay it because you want it to cover this. 
So I'm going to just cut off the ends here. And you know, we don't throw ends away. We save them all. Matter of fact, I just threw my bag away. I had just little some, my bag that I usually have of all my extra colors. I got rid of all the icky ones and everything. And I'm going to start a new bag. <laughs> a new bag. So now I'm going to lay this at the ends. And I'm just going to kind of roll it. I'm not going to roll all the way to the end. So let me lift it up so you can see. I'm going to kind of leave it like that a little bit. I'm not necessarily going to roll it. And then cut that off. Okay, so we have our start. Now you can see here we have some black over the gold. If you want to, you can take some of that black off just so it's not hanging over on both sides. You don't have to. You just want to make sure you keep your brown or gold or whatever color you choose to use. And I just kind of give it a little bit of a, just to kind of smooth it out, a little pat on each side and make sure that and just give it a little roll to get the air bubbles out. It's a little bit of pressure with your palm. And so it kind of flattens down. Now, this is going to be our outside roll. Again, you can use this. Now I'm going to shrink this a little bit. And all you do is you just take it in your hands and just kind of with even pressure on both sides, we're just going to kind of push it in because I want it to fit in here. So that covers it. So again, you know, try to keep it uniform. Now I could have probably conditioned this black one a little bit more because it's having cracks in it, but I don't think it's really going to matter with this. I think it'll just add more texture. And you're not really going to see it. So I'm just going to shrink it up a little bit more. I'm going to put it back on here. Just give it a quick roll. So it's about the same. Yeah. And then roll it. So you see where we're at? So that's where we're at so far. Okay. These are fun to make because there is no leopard. There is no right or wrong. I mean, you know what I mean? Like no spots are the same. Everything's different. So I see I accidentally cut there. So let me run this through the machine one more time. Again, this can be more of a beigey brown. You could pick, do, do you know what I mean? You could do a light brown, um, a mustardy brown. You can do, you know, whatever color you want to do on the outside. I just happened to grab this. I'm not really too concerned. And I'm just going to lay this down. And I'm going to set that in the middle. Make sure I can get it everywhere. I think the middle is the best place for me. Grab my tool. I'm just going to cut these ends off so I can kind of see where the best place will be for me. And flatten it down. Flatten it down. And then we'll just take our clay. Now I can see my beige is a little bigger. I mean, my cane is a little bigger than my beige. Not really too worried about that, but you want it to be as close to the, um, let me just get these in the ball, as close to the size as you can. So if you even want to run it through the pasta machine again, you can. I'm not going to. And all I'm going to do is lift it up and press and roll and roll and roll and get the dog hair off of it. Oh my God, the dog hair. Hello? Okay. All right then. 
And I'm going to push it till I get to that end. Give it a little roll. Roll it back. Now mine cut itself off, which is good. Otherwise, you'll have a mark there, and then you can just use your knife to cut it. I'm going to compact it a little bit more. And then I'm going to roll it. I'm just going to keep rolling it for a few minutes. Kind of keep pushing it down, pushing it down. No big deal. Rolling it, moving my hand, taking where my seam is, as you can see. That's my seam. I'm going to lay that part down because I want to get that part smooth and rolled. And I'm getting it. So you can see that's where my seam was. I got a little hole right here. Now you can go, you can add a little bit more clay if you want, or just smooth it with your finger like you can, like you see I'm doing here. No big deal. I'm just going to give it another little push. And I'm going to keep on. Now. Okay, so just then use your hands and get it. So now why I didn't, you can connect the black if you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So what I'm going to do with this cane, because my cane's pretty much done, as I can see on this end, some of the black has came off, you know, has came out. So I'm just going to give it a quick cut. And I want to show you, you see how I have the black didn't connect? Now you can connect the black again, like I said, it's up to you. So let's just say I connected the black, you know, and then you'll get this kind of look, you know, without that extra little mush and mush right there. So you can connect the black when you take it around. It's completely up to you. But that's just an extra piece of clay. This will be a middle for something that I'll do later. Or... I can roll it, and I have a bead roller too. Those are great. They're inexpensive. And then you have this great bead that you can bake. Make sure you put your hole in it, and you can um, use, you know, have another one, like make another one off pieces that you cut, and then you can make, like, have two big beads um, on a necklace that you're making. Or you can kind of flatten it. and make a sort of cabochon. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter what you do with it. So that's just an extra piece just to let you know. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. And before you go to work with this, I would put it in the freezer for like three to five minutes to make sure that it uh, firms up. So when you cut it, it doesn't smush. Now for this, it doesn't really matter, but um, for most, most, uh, clay item, you know, clay things that you do, you do want it to firm up for when you make your cane slices. And I'll show you that as we continue on. I'm under lights in a warm room because it's below zero. I could probably open my window and stick, my, stick this out in my hand outside for like a second and it would probably firm up, but I'm not worrying about it right now. I'm just going to roll and I'm just going to add even pressure and not push too much because what I'm doing is I'm going to try to roll this out into, and you can do it in your hands like this too. We're just going to make it a thinner tube. You can squeeze it in the middle if you want, and then, you know, go and squeeze it. You want to keep it fairly round, but it doesn't necessarily have to be because of what we're doing. So I just keep kind of rolling it and rolling it and try to get the bubbles out because you want all that to stick. So I start in the middle and start and see how it gets longer and longer. 
now let's just cut this end off here and this end off here so we have basically and there gives me more to make a bead so it kind of gives me this kind of shape and I'm just going to put it in my hands real quick and roll it up and down I'm not going to worry too much about the eve how even it is it's about It's hard for me to roll on a surface because my hands, it's easier. For, I don't know why it's easier for me to do it this way. So if you have problems rolling on because of your hands, because I have RA and fiber and all, then put it in your hands and roll it. So now what I'm going to do is I have my cane and I'm going to cut it. Well, I'll cut it in half and then I'll cut it in half again and half again. Now what I'm going to do is put them together. Now you can see that these aren't all circle, which I'm, I'm good with. Now, if you want, use a, I want to use something that you guys can use at home rather than one of my clay tools, but something flat, you can use a pencil or a marker or whatever, but you can go in and just push in a little bit Not all the way through, but just kind of make a line and then push it so it kind of goes through. And I'll show you. You can even add a real thin black line in there, but you see how it makes it a different look. Now, if I do that, if I separate this again, let's say I separate this, right? I cut it, I separate it, I have it separated like this. And I take a little bit of black in my hands and I'm just going to roll it into a thin Remember, water helps things not stick. So if you spray water on your working surface, whether you're working on glass or tile or even your mat. So I can take this thin black and stick it in there. And then take my tool and just kind of help it get a push in. And then kind of bring it up together around it again. Take off those ends. And now roll it so that closes. And I'll just cut off some of the ends. And then you see how you get this look? Are we clearing up? Let's see, come on baby, yeah. So then we'll add it in between these. Because remember, leopards don't... And since this is extra long, what I'll do is I'll take my knife, cut it, I'll roll it just a little bit bigger and I'll just lay it over here. I'm not going to worry too much that it's not going to go all the way down. Okay. And then I'm going to leave this piece. I'm going to roll it on here because I know that I put too much pressure on because of my hands. It just doesn't work well. And I'm going to add it here. And then I'll cut off that extra big piece there just to do. Now, there's nothing wrong with this one, so let's just, for the sake of doing, roll it out, and let's see what we can get with this. Otherwise, we're going to be pretty good. Now, here's where your decision, okay, so this is going to not be a great cane. 
Although very cute. Can you see how small that is? Look how cute. Okay, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so here's where your decision comes in. Before we roll this into a piece, um, you can continue to, we have this other half, so you can continue to roll this and make a big thing of this to get leopard. Uh, or you can take your clay, which you see has changed colors because of the colors we used, you can roll this out and you can, you know, roll this out flat and then roll this in it. I'm not choosing to do that on this one. So let's say we want to add a few more. So I'm just going to, I'm going to leave that big, but I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to roll this in my hand and just make this a little, gosh, I'm itchy today. I'm just going to kind of squeeze it so it gets a little easier to roll. And I start from the middle and then we'll work my way out. It helps with air bubbles. It helps with a lot of things. And then I'll go push. I'll hold it like I am in the middle and go push. And then start bringing my hands out. Clay is so wonderful because it's just so easy to work with. And I'm just going to roll it out. And what I'm going to do is try to get a double length of this so I can get two more pieces out of it. And I'm going to look at the shapes here and I got some cool shapes. Some big ones, some, so maybe I'll give it a pinch all the way down and I'll show you this. I'm just going to give it a little, little pinch for when it goes in. Okay, no big deal. So I'm going to put it in right here, wherever you want is fine. I will then cut it and then take this part and add it. Oops. Put it in here. Just give it a little push in there. And then we'll just add this bad boy right like this. Okay? So here we have our cane going so far. Now, again, if you want to wrap it in black, if you want to wrap it in your, you know, so it goes like this and it's wrapped around, you can. I'm not going to. Um, I de It depends on the look I'm going for. But what I am going to do now is take this in my hands and kind of back and forth very gingerly. Just squeeze it together. Start in the middle, like I say. Work your way out. Get the bubbles out. Because when you do canes like this, bubbles will get trapped in the middle. So when you go to cut, that's what you get. But like I said, if you want to wrap, and maybe I'll wrap one like half of this to show you. Maybe that's what I'll do. That way then you can see both ways. Okay, so I'm going to kind of roll this in my hands. I'm just going to give it a little push, flatten it. And you can see on this end, you know, that's where all the ends kind of combined and also we will be cutting that off, but I'm just going to give it a little push, turn it around, give it a little push. Sorry, that's my phone. And then I'm just going to roll out. Okay, now we cut in the middle. Again, you'd want to freeze it before you cut it, but look. How beautiful is that? Can you even see, like, is my light even, like, telling you, like, look how awesome that looks? Look how awesome. 
And I used a gold, Sculpey gold inside. And look how beautiful that is. Okay. So here's our other one. Now I hate now um, cut in half. So I'm going to set these aside for a second. And some people like to wrap around. So you see what this looks like. This is without me wrapping around. It's gorgeous. Focus. Yeah, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to cut a piece off of that. Now let me just throw this in my pasta machine for a second, which a pasta machine's right there. Or I would try to get you on the, on the can. You don't need to see me in my, I'm in my leopard pajama pants. How you like me now? Which gave me the idea for the leopard. Okay, sorry. I get excited over silly things. All right, so let me just run this through real quick. Okay, so I have that, and I'm going to take this, which I did not roll, but can you see how the, um, let's see how close up we can get. This is not the ones I just did, but can you see how the color changed that I used? Awesome. So I'm going to wrap it like people say that they like to wrap it. And they usually wrap it before they, um, before they, they have the cane, like they have all the canes cut and then they wrap it and then they do this, but I'm doing it, you know, Keller's way just to show you. Cause I decided to show you late. Let me cut off some of this original, some of the extra. I like to cut off the extra like so because once I start manipulating it, it's all going to kind of blend into one and I like to save what I can, you know, for other projects as cleanly as I can. I'm not that much of a stickler, but you know, if you can save a few bucks and save the extra because you know it's going to blend, why not? Otherwise, if it does, doesn't matter to you, then don't do it. Okay, so now I'm going to add this again rolling now this is with it added on the outside and i'm just gonna roll I'm gonna find where my seam is i got my seam good already and i'm just gonna roll back and forth you can see me moving my hand back and forth okay i'm gonna give it the pinch in the middle and pinch out turn it pinch in the middle pinch out just to get air bubbles out. I'm gonna roll, roll it. Okay. Now let's cut. Remember, throw it in the freezer. So this is what it looks like if you put that outside on. Now I don't I don't necessarily like that. I wouldn't like it with black either. I think it takes away away from the um Let's see, from the look itself, but it's your thing. You know, if that's what you like to do, then you put that on the outside. I don't happen to dig it. I like this when we just did that. Okay, so that's, so I wanted to show you both ways so there's no, you know, no harm done. So people don't. Now here's something fun. I'm going to roll these a little bit thinner. And this you can do with the other one also. Okay, like the one that we did prior. But I like doing this. This is fun. When you when you make, because I still have my big, this little piece left, right? So I'm not worrying. But cut these in half. Sorry about my dogs barking. We might have a delivery. I'm waiting on my cat's trees to come. Cause I ordered my kitten's trays, but now look, now we put these all together. We push with our hands, push it down, push down just a little bit and then roll or roll in your hand, whatever way you want. Now I would love this in the other one without the beige on it, but it doesn't matter. This just lets me show you how to, how to do this. And again, just give it a little push down, a little push down. 
and you can see the outsides are still kind of, you know, so you want to roll it a little bit more. <laughs> We're all waiting for the cat tree because we have one cat that is wild or a kitten. Oh, I love her to death, but she just needs, she climbs anything and the other one just wants to lay down and he gets his spots of playing and all, but this Alice is just, we adore her, but she needs some, she needs some play. She needs a cat tree instead of crawling up my curtains and everywhere else. I was sitting in here getting ready earlier and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she jumps and trying to drink my water out of my uh, paint thing. Now remember, throw this in the freezer before you cut because you get a better cut. But now look. And now you have that. Look how cool. So even with that beige wrapped around, you have this great circle. I mean, these great uh, patterns. Let's see if I can get this close. Yep, look at that. Oh, and a piece of dog hair. Lucky you. Okay, wait, let me do this again. Look how cool. Is that not the coolest cool? Now, what we can do again is roll these out again, cut them in half, put them together, and you will continue to have all these wonderful things. Now, the fun thing is, we have both sides. This is the other side. Okay. So we can make this if we want. Give it a push on your surface, just a push down, turn it, give it a push down, turn it, give it a push down, turn it, give it a push down. And then just kind of use your fingers to give a little bit more. And then we have a square. A square. <laughs> Focus. A square. There we go. Okay. So you have a square look. Might even have another piece of dog hair and I can't tell. Okay. Look how cool that looks. Now that's with the outside part, right? But then you can very gently take your hands and roll this. And I'm going to cut and show you. And you make it into a... circle. So you have two types. These are great on mixed media. These are great on um, cutting slices for, okay, well, let me cut and then we'll do. So then you take, what you would do before you cut is put these in the freezer, okay? You want them in the freezer so they firm up real good when you cut so they don't smush. Because what's going to happen when I cut this, it's going to smush a little bit because it's warm in here and all that jazz. Um, let's pretend I'll just use my pencil or do I have a pen in here? I know I have crappy pens around. Maybe we will use this crappy pen. Okay. But anyway, so let me just slice this and you can slice this as thin. Matter of fact, I have like this idea that I'm going to do for slicing, but anyway, I'm going to slice. Here's the square one. Okay. I'm going to try to keep that. Here's the circle one. And again, you can kind of play with your fingers. You know, those are the ones we added that extra on. And I'm going to lift them up to the camera, no problem. And then this is my favorite, the one I didn't add the extra on. I'm so thrilled with how these came out. I might actually pin my pants. Now, when I cut this, it kind of smushed a little bit. So I'm just going to go around them corners. And just round them about a bit, not worrying. Then you can look and see, oh, what side do I like better? Okay, so look how cool. I mean, look at that. Let's see how close we can get. Look at that. I'm going to put it on white. White paper will work. White paper fixes everything. Let's hope. Just so you can see. Oh, the glare. Oh, 
I think I'm better at holding it in my hand. God darn it. I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying. Damn yo. Alright, I'm gonna just lay in my hand. In my small and icky hand. Because I re yeah, that's much better. Can you see how awesome the different ones are? Let's see if I put it down like that. Yeah, that's much better. Look. So that gives you two different ways to make them. I like the middle one the best without the outer part, but some people like the outer part. So it's completely up to you. So now here's the fun thing. Because there's always fun things with me. Let's say you want to do fancy gifts for somebody, but like for a bunch of people, but you don't have a lot of money, but you got your three color clays. Literally, I got black, I got gold, and it was Sculpey Gold. Was it Sculpey Gold? I said it was Sculpey Gold. Yeah, it's the antique gold. I don't know what I did with the paper that said the name on it. Yeah. I got beige, black, and the antique gold from Sculpey. Okay? So that's what I got. Now, you can do whatever. I'm, like, digging on this. Like, you know, think of the stuff. Think of the zebra prints you can do. I mean, think of the fun things we can do with this. Okay? But, like, say you, you're going to you you say, oh, I want to make a fancy, you know, I want to make gifts for people and and blah, 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 blah. So you go by like the pen where you take your pliers and you pull the thing out and then you just cut these very thin and you just lay them around and then you can make and once you get these on right you lay them all around the side and the other side and then you'll roll it like we did and they will blend all together. Very cool. Do you want to make earrings? You know you keep them at the bigger size before we shrunk it to this size. So you'll keep it more at, um, we'll, we'll, we'll reduce this and then cut it probably in half. Now you can see the bubble there because I didn't push as hard right there, but now I know that's there so I can go all the way down and push it. But um, you would only reduce this by half and then cut it and then add them. Do you know? What I, you understand what I'm saying? Like you would keep them bigger like this or, or continue making the ones like this. Roll this out again. You know, you'd roll this out again, cut it in half again, add that next piece there, roll it out again, and they would continue to get, you know, smaller, smaller, smaller. But you have this great pattern in there, and then you glaze them, and you got awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so that's where we're at. I was going to be at somewhere else, and I forget what else I was going to do. But these are freaking awesome. I love them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slice mine up. I'm using mine in a um, mixed media piece that I'm going to be doing. Now, you see what I'm doing here? I'm taking my finger. And if it, you can squirt a little bit of water on it. So it doesn't stick to your finger or to whatever. To your um, roller, if you want to use your roller. So I'm just going to use my roller. I'm going to show you one more thing, and then I'm going to let these go. All right, this one just doesn't want to cooperate with me. Roll, bitch, roll. Just bear, bear with me one minute, because they're thin. Okay, I love, th this is my favorite one. I mean, look at this. Now there's fingerprints on there. You just, if there's fingerprints, you just kind of rub your hand a little bit. I would wait till it's cooked, baked, and then, you know, do it. But look how cool. Now here's the fun thing. Lay it down. You know, our scrap, our scrap that we have. 
Let's take some of our scrap, roll it into a ball. Flatten it down to the shape that we want. And I have cutters, like circle cutters um, for clay, you know, all, uh, oval, all that kind of stuff. But you don't need to. You can just use a, a lid or um, I'll show you. So I'm just going to kind of roll that out just a little bit, press it out. And let's say we have, I just, I'm going to use this toilet paper or paper towel thing. I'm just going to stick it in. Peel away the extra. Now, mind you, yes, I know this isn't all that even and all that, but you get the idea. Okay, and you get it so it's the same consistency, basically. Whatever shape you want, it doesn't have to be round. You can make it oval. I know you're like, all right, just get to it already, woman. You get what I'm saying now. You just kind of get it so it's the same thickness and shape you want. And I love the gold because it has like like little particles in it, like mica. And then take your finger and a little bit of water somewhere. And just kind of smooth out the... Okay, I know a lot of time of fiddling, it doesn't really matter. Okay, you get the point, right? Okay, now take your pieces that you flattened out and just lay them on. And you can do front and back. Now you can cut these in half, just rip it. I can lay a piece up here, I can lay my piece right here. All right, and then take your now see, I see here, I can take my knife because it's over, it's going onto my cutting board and take that little piece off and add it right here where I see that there is a little hole. Then I'm just going to take my roller, give it a nice roll, nice press with my fingers. Again, you would make a better base. When you use your fingers, you get rid of air bubbles, which is very important. And you can always do this and then go cut it, cut it out if you have your cutters. I'm always in the uh, baking section looking for cutters when I because I have a lot of cutters from the clay. Okay, and then you can lay this piece on top if you want, and then you have. A nice pendant. Now I would take this off because I didn't push it down all the way and you see how nice it comes off and I'll just leave that there and take your pendant up shape it how you I, I can't believe the cat got up here and I got hair everywhere. Okay. Shape it how you want it. Do what you do your thing before you bake it. You want to put a hole in. Get your get a I don't know toothpick or if you have clay tools, you'll have something to make a hole. I'm just using the pointy end of this pen. The pen. Make it go all the way through. You have a hole. You bake it, and you have a great pendant. And the back. If you want to lay more of the cane on the back so it's, you know, reversible, that's great. If you want to add a little bit of glitter on top, that's great. And like I said, you just take your fingers and smooth it and look at the great pendant you can make. You can also, um, like I said, just smooth that out. You can also um, add some, I don't really have anything here. Add some texture to it if you want, and just add, you know, like a stamp that has, you know, just some texture if you want. Perfect pearls, whatever. 
and then you can have some texture in it if you know I, i'm not i don't dig on texture a lot of people like that and then they'll like antique it up with some watered down black paint once it's baked and then you know it makes it look like it's antiqued it's up to you but if you don't like that and you do it and you hate it you just wet it take your finger Give it a little push, a little with your rolling pin. And you're back to flat. My black's starting to rub because I've been working it so much. My black's starting to run into my other things. But that's what you get. So, question for you. Leave me, if, if you like this video and want to see more clay videos, definitely leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about this. Very simple, very fun. Um, I'm going to cut up some of these canes and just make, you know, just cut a few canes up. I'm going to bake them and I'm going to throw them in the giveaway I'm having um, with the mixed media stuff, which I'll talk about in another video. So I'm just going to send just a few of these different canes, you know, maybe three or four pieces of them already baked for you to add if you want to add to your painting or whatever, or to jewelry or just to have just some fun, 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 fun. And um, let me know below another, any other videos you would like to see with clay. I love doing them. And think about this. Think about doing it in black and pink. Think about doing it in uh, orange and green. Think about doing it in your birthstone colors. Think about doing it, you know, in so many different colors in white and black. A um, lot of fun. So, you know, like I said, I mean, look how pretty. How do you, I mean, look, I'm, I'm just in love. In love. Like I said, I'm going to cut them thin and um, bake them. So like I said, I can send you a little package just of whatever. I'm also going to be making, um, I might make a pendant or a pair of earrings out of them and sell them. I'm not sure. I haven't quite got that far. But now these pieces were the pieces all together. This makes a beautiful piece itself. You know, or you could um, use it as a base if you're doing a doll or uh, whatever, or another bead, like I said, just to put these pieces around it and you have a great bead. So you could cut it in half, you can do whatever. So never throw these little pieces away. Always have a Ziploc bag um, to, you know, to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I know I am so sorry. I have about, I just told my husband probably close to 60 now emails on what am I doing my next clay video. So I did it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share my video. I appreciate it so very much. And let me know down below if there's a, a video that you would like to see me do um, to break it down so y'all can do it. And let me know if you'd like to have a clay giveaway. Um, I have quite a few video, uh, quite a few giveaways planned. I'm gonna be talking about one in a bit. So, in my next video. So keep your eyes and ears open. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, I can't say that enough. And again, let me just show you my joy. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. I, I just love it. Love it. Love it. Loving it. Loving it. Look. Look how pretty. And that's the two different ways. I dig this one the best without the extra outside, but some people like this. So it depends on what you're digging. So let me know which way you like best. Do you like it with the extra wrap around it? Or are you like me and like it without the extra wrap? Let me know what you think. You guys rock. My little peeps. I love my peeps. I love my peeps. That's why I got many giveaways planned. And, um, like I said, let me know what video you want to see next with clay and I will be doing it because I just cleaned my clay section up and I am good to go. Um, I'm going to be starting a doll clay like I did the uh, skeleton one 
um, which won't be as bad or as long painstaking because um, I'm going to be doing, you know, I, I'm getting better at doing the videos. Um, obviously not as short, but, um, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Like to teach and to show and to do ahead of kind of things ahead of time and whatnot, um, like conditioning and all that kind of stuff. So let me know what y'all think. And any questions as always leave them below. Give me a thumbs up. If you found me, um, please subscribe. I have giveaways. I do mixed media clay. Um, I'm going to be doing some sewing. Um, I love to draw. I love to paint. Um, I love it all. So art journaling, um, which I have not been doing art journal of the day because I've been doing my drawing, my doodle of the day. Um, but I might do an art journal within the next couple of days. I'm not real sure. And stay tuned for my giveaway. You must be subbed. So if you found me, um, just hit that sub button for me, please. And share my videos. I love, uh, when I see people share and I love, um, getting new subs. I love you all. I'm growing by leaps and bounds and I could not be more blessed. So I want to thank each and every one of you. And I wish I could give you all, uh, a giveaway, but I, the best I can do is do giveaways. So at least, um, you know, somebody wins and I can show my appreciation. So I hope this helped you guys. I hope that you guys try this and tag me and let me see uh, what you guys do or put it on our Flickr account. The Flickr account is um, below in the about section and that's it. I'll be seeing you again. Bye guys.